can just be yourself in the heart of the Bronx. People are really delighted for a Bronx Pride to happen. Normally you really have to go to Manhattan. You can be home in the Bronx. Thank you for this beautiful day from which you've ordained from heaven. For we know that the rain is only a sign of you showering gifts down on these, your people. For we know that we are not an accident and that we are not an error. For we know that we was made in the divine image of who you are. Amen and amen. Put your hands together for one woman that you may not know as well as I do, but I know her through seeing all the things that she has done for our community, for our youth in the Bronx, especially those when they don't have parents that really understand them. It's Lisa Winters. We're gonna make all the clouds go away. Four years ago when we celebrated Bronx Gay Pride here, we could barely get a politician to come and give welcoming remarks. This year, we turned politicians away. And I'm introducing Kenny Augusto. He's the first out district assembly leader in the Bronx. How hot is that? Doesn't matter if it's sunshine or not. For four years, Lisa Winters and the crew of the Bronx Community Pride Center have been here bringing the pride, bringing the happiness, bringing the joy. Recently, the New York Times reported that the Bronx is home to more LGBT families than any other borough in New York City. That's incredible. Yet, in terms of basic services, the Bronx LGBT community is the most underserved. It's not easy in our community. It's not easy in our community to have that conversation. How do you tell a parent that the daughters and sons that they love so much will not be treated equally under the law? Como estamos, familia? Un saludo cordial a todos ustedes. Un abrazo a mi familia. Bien contenta de estar aquí. I'm very happy to be here. This is a program that I support. We matter, we vote, and we're gonna elect our people in. It is an opportunity that we have here to bring our voice as well, the voice of the Bronx community. Whether you're tall or short, whether you're fat or skinny, and yes, whether you're Latino, African American, Anglo, LGBTQ, everyone will, under my administration, be considered one borough. I am here to give you a proclamation Proclaiming Gay Pride Month. I want to congratulate Lisa and her staff and the Bronx Pride Center for providing a safe haven for young people regardless of the sexual orientation or how they identify. I'm so proud really of how far we've come. We've really created a beautiful community. Happy, happy Pride. You all are so beautiful. I love you all. Happy Gay Pride.
20 years ago, you never in a million years would think that an event like this could happen. We finally, as the Bronx LGBT community, really have taken our place at the table. that my daughter supports me. To me, you know, it's a family that I never had. It helped me with shelter, clothing, food. If you're coming out for the first time and your parents are giving you a hard time, come to the Bronx Pride. All day, every day. All right.